Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Thea, The Awakening. We have returned to Wolf's Paw and our expedition out in the wilderness. Uh, I believe last time we just finished um, doing uh, something on the King's Quest, and I believe it gave us another place of interest, which I think is this one here. But, um, yeah, so we just finished the bridge. Um... I'm just getting my bearings because I've just come back from, uh, I'm just starting a recording session now, so, uh, I've done a little bit of looking around, working around, so what we're gonna do now, um, I'm pretty sure we, there's the dragon here that we have to deal with at some point, but we can't deal with right now, um, and then I believe this is the elf that we have to go to after we get the tree shards. Um, right now what we're doing is we are heading up to the... Vivil dra to the vile dragon um, to try and uh, save our kids or at least get some loot and hopefully it is not a five skull I think we can take on a four skull is what we ended up at um, but a five a five skull challenge is uh, pretty high um, so Debmir is a little bit hurt but I think we'll be good to go ahead and move forwards and end this turn so let's get on right into it all right we got some stuff queued up um, and now let us move on forwards forwards and one more move into the vile dragon's den let us see what we find here you approach the mound of rubble that used to be the great Vervelian castle a landmark and seat of power before the darkness the mound that remains in its stead is so tall that it feels as if you're standing under a mountain top. At the height of the rubble, there sits a great dragon. Oh. Beneath the mound stands a lone man with a shoe stand and a workshop. Surviving the apocalypse, don't do it barefooted, reads his makeshift sign. Below it, there is an additional note. We'll kill dragon for a princess. Okay. Um, hi there, there is an unassumed... Hi there. This is an unusual sight for a shoe shop. Are you crazy, man? Are you a crazy? Are you crazy, man? There is a dragon up there. What are you doing selling shoes? Weirdo, just leave now. Um, hi there. This is an unusual place for a shoe shop. The man smiles at you and shows you some sturdy boots. Well, as you can see, I am a cobbler. Needler, they call me, and I'll travel thea making and selling exquisite, custom-made designer footwear. I also deal with dragon infestations, so you see, this site is actually perfect for my business. So, which one are you here for? Well, okay, I'll have some shoes then. Well, we're here for the dragon. It killed some of our children. Uh, we want to get rid of the beast, of course. Yeah, we, we're here because of the dragon, because it killed some of our children. Oh, the dragon. Well, as advertised, I will take care of the dragon problem for you, or at least help you do it for a price. A princess, you say, on the sign. Really? Well, okay. So I'm not counting on an actual princess. Times are tough, I know. I just need me a virgin female. Preferably of noble blood. Posh like, you know. Why? Well, that's my business, really, ain't it? But since you ask, I am looking for a wife. And since I'm a cobbler, I'm looking to marry up. Okay, the crazy... Okay, the crazy reward aside, how would you help with the dragon exactly? You're crazy, right? Um, yeah, okay, so the crazy reward aside, um, how would you help with the dragon exactly? I ain't telling you what my secret is, obviously, but I'll tell you this much. I know the dragon's weakness, and I will use it. You will bring me the stuff I need. I will make something, and all you have to do then is sneak up and place the thing in the dragon's path. Easy for you hero types. So why not kill the dragon yourself already? Duh, because I ain't working for free. I'm not the dragon's type. He hasn't eaten me yet, so I'm not bothered. But if I could get what I want, then good. Okay, that mater what materials do you need? Well, we have no princess for you. <laughs> yeah, we have no princess for you. We already said she doesn't need to be all that, well, princess-like. Look, just get me 40 wood and 10 straw. I will do the rest, and I'm sure you have a lovely lass you can pay me with. I hear the dragon only gets hungrier with time. Soon it won't be just children he eats. Oh, and just follow the dragon to find us again. He likes to move about. All right, we'll get you the stuff, and then we'll take a 
and then we'll talk about the reward. So he wants 40 wood and 10 straw. Um, oh, wow. Woo. That's, that, that's quite the dragon. We have seven straw and we have 50 wood. So we definitely would need more wood if we went and did this. Well, I really don't want to give up one of my people. Um, so yeah, uh, we got straw and wood down here. So I think what we'll do is we'll head down there. We'll get the strong wood. And then we'll we'll talk about that um, quote unquote reward payment. Ooh, a falling star. Follow it. Blessing of health. Fantastic. Um, spiders. We will kill them. We will auto kill them. Uh, rejoice. And we get the dex. I like this quest. We get plus blessing of dex. One of our people get plus one dex, and we get blessing of health on some people too. That's a nice quest to get. I like that quest. Um, let's go ahead and move here. And end our turn. And day is coming. Fantastic. Now we move forwards. Um, we can move forwards again. You know what? Come into Wolf's Paw real quick. There's some bees by us. Um, oh, he made the food before he made the gathering tools. Crap. Um, I set up some. I queued up some more gathering tools because we had a lot of spider silk and wicker. So we're gonna make some of those. Um, he's working on food. He's working on that. Oh no, he didn't. He he um made the sword first. Okay. Um, how are our swords? Leech, Dex, Sturdiness, Gathering, Magic. Ooh, Gathering 2. It's bad quality, though, unfortunate. Tis unfortunate. Um, Alright. Should we make camp here, or should we move? Suppose we could move. Let's move up there. We will make camp, and we'll see what we can gather. So... 60 for for straw, 60 for wood. So basically we have to split our people up like so in order to collect both of them in one turn. And then we throw everybody else up in uh, meat. So one turn for the straw. Or we could do this. Actually, if we're going to do that, we should do this. Get double wood, um, take two turns with the straw, and after one turn with the wood, I can move somebody up into meat. I think we'll go with that. Alright, so we're going to end our turn here. Now we hop on into... Ex uh, we hop on into the expedition, go to production, go ahead and move you up there. That turns to two. Um, if I move you down and you up. Sweet. So one turn there, one turn there, one turn there. That's fantastic. We'll go one more turn. We'll get some meat, some more wood, and some straw. All right. We got two things. We got the dragon up there, and we got some bees down there. All right. So let's end this turn. More research. We got a basket for gathering. Fantastic. I'm going to be using those in the expedition once we finish stuff up here. All right, so now then, let us break camp and head towards this beast and see what comes next, shall we? We can actually get right up to it. Over the mountain, cross the river. You find Needler again, and you see he is sewing what looks like a carcass of a sheep. You give him the stuff, and he uses it to finish his fake sheep. There are now three such animals lying on the ground. Did you bring the 40 wood and 10 straw? Yeah. How on Thea are you going... Are these going to help? Uh, just a moment. We'll come back. Yeah. We got them. Just get them to the dragon. I'll explain later. I don't want you to side and you don't need me anymore. He's asleep now. So sneaking up shouldn't be so hard. Oh, fine. We'll go. You Three see the dragon, still sneak. Asleep at a nearby hilltop. The cobbler shows you exactly where to place the sheep. 
Uh, we can begin sneaking, so we have to. So we have a three skull sneak challenge. I don't know how this is gonna go. We might end up having to fight the dragon. <sighs> sneaking. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, we got lots of uh, health at least, and fair good damage, so we should be good. Let's reshuffle because I want somebody a couple more better damage people. All right, so we get to go first. So, um. We're, I have no idea what they're going to have. So, suppose we should send somebody who can take a little bit of damage. Um, poison, yeah. We don't want to send Mick out right away. We want somebody else to do damage. So let's go ahead and let's send Donna out first. She's got a good amount of health. She's got a shield. All right. All right, so it doesn't look like they're too strong. They are pretty high level. So what we're going to do now, I'm thinking, is we go ahead and play Himoslav and play Mick and end that turn. He's going to play two more. There's you. And plays a spear from there. All right. So now what we're going to do, counter offense, counter tech. So, um, you have a really high counter tactics. You do not. So we're going to play Dor Doris first, get her out. And now, I want to counter tactics. Actually, we can counter offense. Let's counter offense, get rid of the guy who will do damage in the first round. Play one. Um, we can go ahead and counter tactics this guy. And then we can first action Doris. And we can confuse one of their guys. Alright, we should be able to take this down no problem now. Phase one. Damage to Himoslav. Himoslav attacks. Make attacks. So we are going to have to go through two rounds of this, that's for sure. That's down. He's down. Damaged. And then he attacks Mick. Alright, round two. That was good. We didn't. We just barely took any damage. So awesome. All right, let's go. We get to go first. Uh, we are going to start off. This is Leech. So we're going to start off by putting Doris out. Oh, crap. Well, guess Himoslav's going out first. He was so excited that he just went right ahead and did it. All right. So now we can go ahead and send out... Doris, and we will send out um, Zana as well. Oh, and that's all of their guys, that's unfortunate. Alright, send out Bogna. First action, Bogna. First action, Zana. First action, Doris, and confuse one of their guys. Smash. Smash. Could have calculated this better so that they didn't get to attack, but it's all right. I'm not too chuffed about it. We don't actually take damage from sneaking, but we definitely smash this uh, sneak challenge. Thank you, Blessing of Dexterity. All right. You snuck up to the spot and placed the sheep there. You go back to the cobbler and together you watch the dragon. The beast wakes and smells the meat. It flies down to grab his meal and devours it in seconds. All seems normal when suddenly the dragon begins to puff smoke out of his nostrils and mouth. It hangs its tongue out and breathes heavily, then flies off towards a lake nearby. 
Quickly find some higher ground. Watch what happens next. You see the dragon land in the lake and drink water in gallons. It drinks and drinks and drinks. Its belly growing larger and larger from the liquid until it explodes. Wow. Needler claps his hands and smiles at you. So, the girl? What happened? All right, the girl. Yeah, not happening, man. Okay, I suppose a deal's a deal. One of our girls will join you. What happened? I told you, I knew his weakness. The poor fella suffered from a dangerous type of draconic digestive disorder. At the same time, he was partial to lambs. Visually, strange enough, I think the sight of them irritated him. In any case, I used certain materials, including the ones you brought, to make a fake sheep that would cause a flare-up of his condition. The only remedy then is to drink a lot of water, but I made the sheep so strong he just had to keep on drinking. Almost feel sorry for the fella. But now, for my reward? Okay, so here comes the thing. Um, do we want to not give him a girl, or should we give him a girl? I really don't want to give up one of my people. Especially one of my girls, because they're pretty good. Mmm. I don't know. Ah! Mm. I feel like if we say no, then we're going to have a problem. Maybe I should have sent the girls all back, but then we probably wouldn't have completed. Ah! This is hard. Fine, a deal's a deal. One of your women joins the cobbler. You go back Donna, to the dead dragon and no. gather up his remains. And you find a small lair where the beast kept some treasures. Poop. We lost Donna. I'm very sad now. We got some diamonds, dragon bones, gold, and dragon leather. But we lost Donna. That's stupid. I should have said no. I should have said no. She had a lot of really good stuff on her, too. Poop. Hmm. Actually, do we still have all of her stuff? I think we still have all of her stuff. We do, wow. We still have all of Donna's stuff. She left us her stuff. Well, that was nice. Alright, um... Distraction, armor, and gathering one. That actually wouldn't be a bad thing to have on Doris. She's only got a gathering of four. Sure. Take the ring. Um, this box is a trap box. Need somebody who doesn't have anything there. You don't have anything there, so I guess you can have it. Um, and her armor is a lot better, but it weighs a lot more. But, holy cow, he can handle a thousand stuff because of the blessing of strength he's got. Okay, well, um, that was interesting. We finished off the dragon. Um, I guess next thing, we've got to go and do the bandits. So, I think we'll just make camp here. We don't get to gather anything, but we can, um, make sure everybody's healed up. And then we can go around and deal with the bandits um, next time. So, um, how much wood? Okay, we got 36 turns of wood somehow. How did you got that? Because we got straw we can burn. And we still have loads of wood. Okay, that's fine. Um, but yes. So I believe that is going to be it for the, last ep for the end of the episode. Um, unfortunately, we have lost Donna. Uh, because some weird cobbler wanted a wife, so that is unfortunate. But we, I, the only other thing we could have done is killed him, probably. So, and I didn't want to risk having it not be we kill him, but have it instead be something like he curses us, and yeah, that wouldn't have been good. Um, especially if he curses us and then takes her anyway that would have just been really bad um but yes so that is gonna be it for this episode guys thank you all so much for watching um and i will see you all next time till then guys bye bye